Hey you guys and welcome back. I wanted to do a video that I've never done on my channel before and it's going to be a drugstore starter kit. Basically this is for people who go into a drugstore and have no idea what to buy or are completely overwhelmed by all of the brands and all of the options. So I wanted to make a video talking about some products that I think would be a really good start if you are just starting off in makeup and you walk into that store and you have no idea what to buy. I don't actually have that many products to share with you because I wanted to keep it really simplified. I didn't want to overwhelm you guys with a bunch of different products. This is a video I kind of wish I had when I first started buying makeup, which was only like three years ago maybe, like 2015, I guess was when I kind of started actually buying makeup. And before I would walk into like London Drugs or the Superstore makeup section and have no idea what to buy. This is kind of what I would have liked to have watched before buying makeup for the first time. I am drinking hot chocolate. I know it is only September. It's like September 10th today and it's not even fall yet, but I don't know, it's really gloomy outside and gray and I think it's gonna like thunderstorm tomorrow maybe, so I felt like having hot chocolate. Okay, let's dive right in. So starting with a base product. If I was starting out in makeup and I wanted to buy something to help with my skin and my complexion, but I didn't wanna buy something that was super heavy or high coverage, I would purchase this L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. I have talked about this a lot before and for a while in summer, like this was basically the only thing I was wearing on my face. It comes out as like a white color, but then once you blend it in, it becomes more like a peachy tone and it should should match your skin tone. So as you can tell, it kind of like becomes a beigey color. I do have the version in light. They have a couple shades out there, but light is just the one I find works for me. Such a great texture. It feels super lightweight on my skin, but it covers up hyperpigmentation. It covers up little like spots that you don't want to see. And I feel like for someone who's starting off with makeup, this would be such a good purchase for them because it's really going to feel like nothing on your face. Your skin is still going to look like your skin, which I think is the scariest part about a foundation is that you look like you're wearing a mask and it looks really heavy when you're used to having a bare face. At least that's what I felt like when I started wearing foundation. So for anyone who likes that lighter weight and was looking for like a BB cream type product to start off with, I would recommend this L'Oreal BB cream. However, I did want to give you guys an option for a foundation if you're somebody who wants or needs higher coverage. This is the product that I would recommend and it's the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. I have mine in the shade 120. I think this is a good starting foundation. I actually like this better than the Maybelline Fit Me foundations that they have. I like it better than L'Oreal foundations. It's just a good product that lasts forever on my skin. Like it really lasts an entire work day for me, which is like 12, 12 hours, 12, 13 hours. It has really, really good coverage. It doesn't look cakey. I would recommend this for those of you who either need or just want something full coverage. I have two candles in the background, by the way. They are right by my aloe plant. My aloe plant is doing so well. It has like three new like sprouty things. My chives outside, I know it's the end of the season, but my chives, chives have aphids and it grosses me out looking at them and I don't know what to do. So if you have tips for getting rid of aphids, please let me know. Moving on, I do think that an under eye concealer is something that you don't necessarily need if you have one of these two products. I feel like if you wear this, you don't even need a concealer. Like this will do the job at covering your dark circles. And when I'm wearing this, I don't really care about my dark circles as much because I want my skin to just look like skin anyway. But I wanted to recommend really quickly one concealer for your under eyes if that's something you'd be interested in buying. And the one I would recommend is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Concealer. This is something I talked about in my August favorites. I think this is just a staple in the drugstore. It just performs really well. It's really good coverage. It blends really nicely. It's just a classic concealer that I don't think you'll be disappointed in. I feel like I'm talking about Maybelline a lot so far. I just feel like Maybelline and L'Oreal are kind of good starting drugstore brands if you have never like used 
drugstore makeup before because they're just, they've been around forever. For the most part, they are pretty reliable in the products they produce. And yeah, I feel like they're just good starting brands. And then once you start buying a whole bunch of makeup, you might want to explore other brands, but definitely to start, I think L'Oreal and Maybelline are great options. You want to recommend a powder. When I started off wearing makeup, I only wore foundation. I didn't even wear a bronzer. Like I just wore foundation. I don't really know what I was thinking because it would rub off all the time. I was wearing like the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, which is also like super greasy. Of course it's gonna rub off. Because of that, I feel like I need to recommend a powder for you guys because if you are wearing a foundation, I really recommend you set your face, even if you have dry skin. I have normal to combination skin and I don't know, I just feel much more comfortable setting my face if I'm wearing a foundation. What I would recommend is a translucent powder because then you can use it for your under eye area and you can also use it for your entire face because there's no pigment to it at all. Like it's not going to look too dark under your eyes if you're wearing a skin tone powder and it's not gonna look too pale if you're wearing like an under eye powder all over your face. So I feel like I'm talking so fast in this video, but I would recommend a translucent powder. The first one is matte. This is the Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder. I love this powder. It's so soft and so smooth and it just sets your face so nicely. Your face will feel so smooth and soft after you apply this. Really good setting powder. It feels really high quality and if you do have oilier or if you have combination skin, I'd recommend getting a matte powder. And if you have dry skin, I would recommend this powder which is the Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. This is the one I'm wearing on my face right now actually. I'm wearing it on my like under eye area and then use a different powder all over my face. But this is also such a nice consistency. It's so so soft and smooth. I don't know, it just feels like a different quality from like every other powder that I've tried. And the best part about it is that it sets your face, but it does not get rid of that dewy finish. It gives your face the strangest like sheen. I feel like it's so unique. I've never tried a product that will set your face so it doesn't feel sticky or anything, but keep you looking glowy and illuminated and dewy. I don't know, it is such an amazing product. I had to recommend it to you guys. Okay, so when I first started wearing makeup, I remember my sister, my little sister actually, she had this bronzer from Hard Candy and I loved the way it looked above all else, like above a highlighter, above blush, I just wanted a bronzer. If you're starting out with makeup, I don't think you need a contouring powder. So I'm not gonna share that with you, but I will share with you a really handy dandy face palette that I think is amazing and definitely something that will make your life easier if you're struggling at the drugstore. I love two-in-one, three-in-one products. I like when one product can get all the jobs done. And this one is the CoverGirl True Blend Serving Sculpt Palette. Mine is in the shade 500. I like all three of these powders in here. Honestly, this is like all you need if you're starting off at the drugstore. You don't have to worry about buying a blush, a highlighter, and a separate bronzer. You can just buy this. CoverGirl really stepped it up with their new branding. Like I never really wear CoverGirl. Look at that blush. I never wear CoverGirl like very often. I don't have a lot of their products, but their like new collection that came out with this like sleek black and white packaging is really good. Okay, moving on. That is everything for the face. That's all I have to share with you guys. So I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow. I know eyeshadow can be super intimidating. I still get intimidated with eyeshadow because I'm not very good at it. And I feel like it just takes time and practice, which I don't, I don't do. Eyeshadow can be really scary if you're starting out in makeup and you don't wear it very often. The thing is that I noticed is I wouldn't wear it to school, like I would not wear eyeshadow. I barely wore, I maybe did like one color, like a shiny color on my lid, I don't know. But I barely wore eyeshadow, but then when I had a special event or a party or something and I wanted to wear eyeshadow, I didn't have any and I had to go into my mom's makeup. So I want to recommend you guys something that has everything you need for any occasion in it, has a great formula, really great pigmentation, and above all else, they're easy to use. And this is the Makeup Revolution Soph X palette. This is the original palette that she came out with. It has 
basically every color you could possibly need. You have a whole bunch of mattes on this side, which is perfect if you want to do like an everyday simple look. It's everything you need in a palette. You can create a smoky look, green look if you want it to, a purple look, or like a bronze. You've got three really pretty bronze shades right here, and also cranberry. You just have everything you could possibly need. The Formula Makeup Revolution, I think it's like the best affordable drugstore formula out there. When you do have a special event to go to, you can totally grab this palette and create almost any look you want. So this is the one I'm recommending. Okay, I do think that you need an eyeliner. I don't know, I feel like an eyeliner is just kind of a staple in a makeup collection because sometimes you want a really smoky eyeliner and you want a smoky look. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel pencil in the shade glazed toffee i would recommend you get the one in black like that's the one i'm going to buy next when i run out of my current black eyeliner because this formula is amazing it's waterproof if you're using it on your waterline it's not going to smudge so i do have watery eyes and i feel like this lasts really well on me when i was young young when i was like 20 one and starting off in makeup i never wore mascara i don't know what i was thinking i don't know why nobody told me like nobody i knew told me that i should wear mascara because what i would wear was like black eyeliner on my upper waterline or not even on my waterline like on my lid i wouldn't wear mascara with it i didn't even curl my lashes i don't know i feel like above all else if you're going to wear makeup and your eyes aren't sensitive to it i feel like you need a mascara. I don't know. This is my opinion. Some people have beautiful, long, thick, luscious lashes and they, they don't need mascara. But if you have lashes like mine where they're not super long, they're not super thick, they're just standard lashes, um, I think a mascara is something that you need, especially if you have an opportunity to wear makeup or if you have something to go to where you need to wear makeup grab a mascara. I don't have them with me right now, but the two that I would recommend from the drugstore are the Maybelline Lash Sensational and also the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara was also really good. If you're looking for something cheaper, it's just less accessible, I would recommend the Essence. Well, I'm wearing it on my eyelid eyes today. It's a much cheaper alternative, but again, Essence isn't really accessible. At least in Canada, it's not super accessible. So definitely check out the L'Oreal one or the Maybelline one if you want a good, solid, drugstore mascara. <laughs> I don't know why I'm choking. Okay, that's pretty much it. I think the last, sorry, I keep looking at my phone because I have it, the list on my phone. I think the last category is lips. Oh, and a brow. Okay, so brows, I don't think you need it. If you're starting off in makeup, I don't think you need to do your brows. I feel like we just convinced ourselves that we needed to do our brows and then everybody started doing their brows and then your brows would look funny when you looked in the mirror. I don't know, that was my experience. I never ever did my brows like ever like honestly until probably January I wasn't really doing my brows except on camera and now I'm like doing them every single day I do think they're important I'm not gonna say that brows aren't important I do think eyebrows are very important if you are interested in some buying something for your brows the ones I would recommend are brow gels because they're super easy to use they're just a mascara that you put on your brows they'll plump up your hairs they'll deepen them and thicken them as well they'll make your brows more luscious, I guess. And the two that I would recommend are the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper, which I think is discontinued. Uh, my friend told me that she couldn't find it anymore. So I really hope it's not discontinued because that's like my favorite brow gel. Or if that one is discontinued, the NYX Brow Mascara is also really good. I like both of those. So those are the two that I would recommend. Anyways, the last category is lips. So lips, I just have like three things to share with you. You don't need all three, it's based off your preference. Um, I wanted to share with you a matte lipstick. I wanted to share with you a cream lipstick and a liquid lipstick. Lips were the easiest thing for me to get into when I started wearing makeup. Like it was super easy for me to throw on foundation, throw on mascara, and put lips on. That was pretty much my look all the time. Foundation, mascara, and lips. The cream lipstick that I want to share with you are the Milani Color Statements. These are such a good formula of a lipstick. This one is in the shade Naturally Chic. It's uh, one of my favorites. They last forever on your lips, so definitely recommend these. And then if you're looking for a matte lipstick, I would recommend the Milani Moisture Mattes. This one is one of my favorites of all time and it's the Moisture Matte in the shade Matte Confident. Again, such a great formula. It feels like velvet on your lips. Really nice pigmentation. Lasts forever. This is a great formula. Milani makes really good lipstick formulas. Definitely Milani 
or Maybelline. Maybelline is good as well, but definitely Milani or Maybelline if you're looking for good drugstore lipsticks. And the other good thing about these Milani lipsticks is that they have an amazing shade range. Like you can find any color you want, either as a moisture mat or as a color statement. They have so many color options. If you're looking for nudes, they have it. If you're looking for colors, they have it. So yeah. The uh, liquid lipstick that I will recommend to you is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This one is in the shade Shakedown. I'm not wearing this on my lips today. I probably should have worn it because it would have looked really nice with this sweater, I think. But this is in the color Shakedown. These are like cement on your lips. As soon as you apply them, they're not going to budge. They're going to last forever through food, through drinks and they don't feel dry, at least not on my lips, they don't feel dry. Pigmentation is amazing as well, and they are shiny right now, but they do dry down matte. The only downside for this liquid lipstick is the color range, not a great selection. It's mostly just neutrals and nudes. This is the best formula at the drugstore for liquid lipsticks, in my humble opinion. Oh. Okay, that is everything. I'm so glad this video is done. I feel like I've been yakking for so long. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you have any other recommendations for anyone, please leave them down in the description bar below. These, of course, are just my personal preferences, but there are a lot of options at the drugstore. I just wanted to make something that could help you out if you were a little overwhelmed by the amount of products that the drugstore has. That's pretty much everything I wanted to say. So thank you guys as always for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!